Yeah, well, really pleased that we made a game of it in the end, but um, yeah, disappointed that we didn't start the game as well as we'd like. You know, five goals to one in the in the first quarter. We um, we, we fully expected the demons to come out come out firing. You know, a couple of um, a couple of weeks since their last game, um, and not so much that their season was on the line, but it was a critical critical win for them to get themselves you know back on back on the winning list. So um, yeah, they they started the game particularly well, and um, yeah, we worked our way back into the contest. We had, after our um, quarter time deficit, we had three quarters to try and chase them down, and just wish there was a fifth quarter. We couldn't quite get there. Uh, but really pleased that you know, we're um, you know, nearly nearly out of the game at three quarter time and found out, found ourselves a chance just to get back into it, but just couldn't quite get ourselves in front uh, by the final sign. You're talking through the about how the Collingwood game into sort of a glass half wrap up. Do you think something similar out of this? Yeah, well, Melbourne are a good side, very experienced side, and um, yeah, particularly with their um, their key the guys like Gorn and Oliver, um, Fritz, May, these these type of guys that they've, they've been the backbone of their side for for a number of years. So I thought um, Big X competed really really um, strongly with with Gorn. It was nearly a, nearly a break even if 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 Gorn got there it was just because he kicked the goal and X didn't. But outside of that, nearly all their stats and that sort of stuff are very very similar and um, which is. You know, continued growth for him as a player to come up against who's been the best ruckman in the last uh, six or eight years in the competition, and um, yeah, we're really pleased with that. We're really pleased with Archer's role on um, on Fritz. You know, he, he went goalless. I'm trying to think of the amount of times he's gone goalless in the last three or four years. Um, and Will Phillips did a, did a terrific job on um, on Clayton Oliver. So, and, you know, really negated his influence over the course of the game. So, um, and, and outside of that, you know, the fact that we um, allowed ourselves to get um, behind on the scoreboard and find a way to get back into the into the contest late in the game, you know, there's some pleasing things. We still need to look at the reasons why we slipped that far behind in the first you know, first quarter, and then um, periods of the periods of the third quarter. But you know, a lot of the, a lot of the, the the statistics that we're searching for as a side. Um, contested possession, tackles, ground balls, those sorts of things are, um, are really, really strong. And um, you know, when you're coming up against a, a side like Melbourne, who have been the best side in that space in the last five years, um, yeah, that was we, we we take some great positives out of that, and we take positive out of the fact that we you know played three games of footy since the bye, and each one of them have been you know close contests. We've won one of them and lost two by less than a kick. So. We just know if we keep persevering and um, and working on our game, then a win's not going to be too far around the around the corner. But um, you know, we've got to dust ourselves off, get ourselves ready. We've got the Bulldogs next week at, at Marvel. Um, you know, they're another great side with an experienced group, particularly through the midfield. So um, you know, our our players are really looking forward to every contest now because they've given themselves a chance to be in games, and that's that's pleasing. We're not winning as many as we'd like, but at least we're in the contest. Yeah, well, I thought they were, I thought they were terrific. You know, they, they they gave themselves a chance, and even the last part of the game. You know, when you when you get um, you yeah, know roll of the dice situations in the last couple of minutes of the game. Um, you know, I think when we when Zerha kicked that goal to get us within three points, there's uh, there's still three minutes or thereabouts to go on the clock, and probably in that period of time we had maybe four or five chances to get the ball forward, and uh, and sometimes it's just um, bounce of the ball, an umpiring decision, uh, um, uh, a lucky kick that just bounces your way instead of theirs. Um, you know. It, it, that's uh, that, that's the way the game was decided last week. Ball just goes one side of the post compared to the other, um, and that's the way it was decided this game as well. So, but the the pleasing part is at least you at least you're in games. Um, you're giving yourself a chance, and as we can become more experienced and more composed, there's no probably no surprise in a sense that we've lost uh, 
lost to two sides that are just more experienced, have had more um, opportunities to be in those tight sort of tight sort of games. You know, at different stages in the last two minutes, I thought Melbourne played it really well, um, denied us the footy, um, but we still found a way. You know, it's three to three minutes is a long time to try to deny a team the, the football, and we still had you know four or five chances to take the ball forward and score. Couldn't quite get there, but. Um, Police, you know, even even that last ball that just gets hacked forward, it's just bumbling around, <laughs> going towards our goal. Um, that lands in a Melbourne guy's hands rather than rather than ours. Um, if it lands in our hands, we can get a goal. We win by three points. You know, that's just the luck of the draw. But at least we gave ourselves a chance. Will Phillips had the day last week, and all of it this week, because he found his niche as a tackle. Yeah. Um, well, it's certainly given him opportunity to. Um, to play in the play in the side, and um, he'd been playing some pretty good footy at VFL level, and just with the rotation of guys, you know, he he, he did too good a job on Dacos um, in the first half last week, not to continue to get an opportunity in that space this week. Uh, what we do next week, I'm I'm not too sure, but it was a little bit of a challenge because uh, what's kept him out of the side, uh, in a sense, is the the depth of midfielders that we've had through there. With Jai coming back uh, coming back this week. Our captain that um, that that puts a, a test on the depth of your midfield and who can who can play through there. But um, we wanted to give him another opportunity in that space, and I thought he did acquitted himself really well. So um, you know, sometimes uh, sometimes guys just need to have some sort of role like that to uh, just find um, find their spot in the side. You know, one of the greatest players this footy club's ever seen in Anthony Stevens. You know, his first three or four years was played in that sort of role before he then. Learned how to get the footy himself, and then in the last part of his career, he was the one getting tagged. So um, I'm not sure if that will be the the pathway for Will Phillips, but um, certainly in terms of playing on some of these players and teaching him where to go to get the footy, it's really important for his growth and development at this point in time. <laughs> yeah, well, um, it seems it, it seems a little bit. Um, comical that we weren't doing a hell of a lot of it in the first half of the year because what's the point practicing something that you're um, you never in, never in close finishes? But um, you know, it gives us it gives us heart that we can practice some of that now. Um, it's not that we absolutely ignored it, but um, it's pretty hard for players to get motivated to practice. Um, yeah, red time finishes in games when um, when you're very rarely in them, but that's the pleasing part of it. And we, we do know that um, in big finals, um, yeah, and they're, they're very likely to be close games and hardly fought contests. And um, so it's pleasing that we're getting that exposure and experience. And um, as I said earlier, just at, just at the moment, the the more experienced sides are probably uh, know what to do in the in the crunch a little bit better than what we are. But at least we're giving ourselves a chance in games, and we'll learn and. The Collingwoods and the and the Melbournes and the Sydneys and over over the journey you have your disappointments um, in terms of close losses, um, but uh, but hopefully the exposure to it you know, all goes well for the future.